Hello, today I'm here with a new video and yes, I have chopped off my hair yet again. I think it's too short. <laughs> and I don't like it like when the hairdresser style it. Because I just don't know and I don't know how to have my hair and I, for right now I don't like this at all. So yeah. I think I look like a Spice Girl, so 1996 maybe, I just don't, I don't like it, but okay, today I am, now I look like a mom from the 80s, okay, <laughs> I am doing a first impression today and I'm going to use the Lilac You A Lot from Colourpop, I have over 10 palettes at home, that I haven't done a first impression on and one part of me is like okay I'm just going to do first impression of the first impression just to work through them because I feel a little bit overwhelmed with my makeup collection right now so I was like okay maybe I should just do all my first impressions and have no unused palette at home for once so I'm thinking about doing that and I asked you on Instagram about help to choosing a palette and you voted for, for the lie like you lost from Colourpop. I... Yeah. I'm going to do a look with this and do I need to move this light a little bit closer? Like how do I look? I look like a mushroom. A mam or a mushroom or a spice girl. I can't decide. It's like... I just don't like it right now. I guess it will feel better when I have washed it at home. So, okay. The Lilac You A Lot palette. It, it is one of the monochromatic palettes. It, it looks like this. So, it's a little bit darker than I thought. I have seen pictures on it. But, like, in real life it is a little bit darker. And I actually like that. And I'm not like 100% sure what I'm going to do. I want to use at least one of the shimmers. Yeah. And in this palette I think it's, it's four shades that are not intended for the eye area. So it is this one, Ghost. Ghosting and these three. I think it was them. Yeah, um, I don't care. So, yeah, I am going to try to figure out what I want to do. And we will see how this is going to go. Because I'm home alone. And Astrid, I just come home from work. And she's always a little bit... She's like slept when we are at work. So we will see if I can film or not. Or if I have to wait for my boyfriend to get home. So, okay, I am going to prime my eyes and then get started. Okay, so I think I don't want to swatch, just because I do not. So I will start with this Ghosten and take it like in my inner crease. And this was one that is not intended for eye area, but I will just take it in here. And I know it's a difference between like Europe and the US. And now Astrid is here. Okay, and what I was trying to say, it's, I know it's a difference between... Europe and the US what's I think we are in Europe are more okay what you can have in your eye area than the US is something like this and then I'm going in with a bigger blending brush if I have one that is somewhat clean I don't think I do and then I'm going in with, I think, I think I want to start with this one. This is zoned out and take it in the rest of my crease. And I want to go in to deepen down my crease with another color, but I just want this to be between like my eyebrows and uh, the really purple. Or lilac that I might have on my eyelid. Uh, 
And this was one of the palettes from Colourpop that I was like, okay, I do not want it. And then I saw it when I was at Jessica's place. And then I was like, okay, I want it. Okay, and then I'm taking a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to try this. This I bought this like yesterday. I'm going to try this and I'm going to take Ify, this one, and put it in my crease just to deepen it down. And this was so pigmented. This has been one of the palettes that I'm like, okay, I don't want this because I don't like purple that much. But then I was at Jessica's place and I saw this and I was like, damn it. I think I want it. So yeah, I don't have the It's My Pleasure palette, the monochromatic purple palette. Just because purple isn't my, my jazz. Do you see? <laughs> Astrid, what are you doing now? I don't like you behind me. Because she really likes to take things and go away with them. So she usually take like socks and things and just to wander off. Sorry for the distraction, but um, me and my boyfriend, we're actually having a home date night today. I got an idea from Paulina. She talked in that if one of her get ready with hers. And uh, she and her fiance, <laughs> they were starting to have like this dates at home. And me and my boyfriend, we're going to try that. So I want to do i want to make the filming before he gets home so this is like my only chance i got because i got off work earlier than him because i start earlier so yeah so i like the crease like this i think now it is now i am not like 100 sure because i think i want to use okay i think i want to swatch Okay, so I think I want to shimmer the most on my lids. I think I'm going with this filter red and fluff on my lids. So I will just take this one a little bit on my outer corner. And I know these are not like the same purple. <laughs> but do you know what? I do not really care about that. So I'm going in with filter red. Is it even called that? Filter red. I guess so. Just like out here. And not too much, but maybe the fluff will can be on top of this. I'm just going out. <laughs> I'm just going out. I'm just going in. It's out here. Just because I want something a little bit more deeper. Out here. So far, really like this palette. It feels like it though have really much kick up. I don't feel that ColourPop's palette usually have that, but with this it has. And I don't know if it is because it is a purple palette. I don't know. Okay, so I will go in with fluff this one and take it on the rest of my crease. And I really hope that this will. show when it does or show but Colourpop some of their shimmers are really really amazing and I feel that some of them aren't that amazing. I think that Colourpop they can have very different or the shimmers can be very different. I might should I cut my crease with this. It works but it's not like I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I feel so critical to like shimmer shades overall. Right now, I don't know why. But it's nothing wrong with this. But maybe I would want it a little bit more metallic. And also, I feel if I would have cut my crease, I could have been a little bit more precise. 
because now it feels like some of the fluff is getting everywhere. And I feel that this is a shade that I might need to go in with a couple of times. Maybe it's just better if I pack it on. I try to smudge it a little bit on this eye. But it feels like packing is a better solution. And then I'm just going in with this darker a little bit more here. And I don't know if this is what I imagined this look to be. I don't even know what I imagined this look to be, if I'm going to be really honest. I'm going in with the the lighter, the lighter shade I had in my inner crease and smudge it a little bit together with fluff. And as for right now, I think this is maybe not the best I can do. I think I can go in a little bit more here with darker. So I actually think that I am happy with the lids like this or I'm okay with the lids like this. I don't know if it is that much dimension. I just see that I need to go in a little bit more here. And did I just do a little wing shape? And is it that I like it? Do you see this, Julia? Maybe it's like the most baby and strange wing you have ever seen or wing shape. I actually think I like it, so I think I'll try to do it here as well. Maybe like a new hair, a new me. Maybe that was a bad idea because it looks better on this. I don't know, but it's look really different on both of them. But okay, I am going to take away the fallouts, try to calm Astrid down because now she's right down on the camera so maybe the camera has shaken a little bit. For my under eyes, I think I just want to go in with Ife and then I want to take Cloud in my inner corner and I think that is enough because I feel like cloud will lighten it up so it doesn't look too iffy with the iffy so i'm going to tap this off and let's take it on my lower lash i think i just want to take it like not the whole way because i can take cloud then in my inner corner and also like the last part of my lower lash. And I will spray cloud because I want it to be really intense when I swatched it. It looked more more like a chopper, so I'm going to spray it just so it is enough. Look at this I you know me purple is not 100% my favorite if we say it like that but I like those look maybe purple is growing on me maybe I don't know so I will fix not my base my <laughs> I will put on mascara try to choose a lippy I hate to try to take a lipstick to a purple look because I never know what to take. But I will try to find something and then I come back again. So this is the finished look for my wash line. I used Amethyst Hour, I think it is, is from Colourpop. On my lips, I used a little combo from NYX. First I took a matte lip liner in Soft Spoken and then I took a candy slick in S'mores Please. So yeah, this is my first impression look with a lilac you a lot and I have used one, two, three, four, five, six shades. So I used cloud in my inner corner, fluff and filter red on my lid.
ghost in and zoomed out in my crease and also if in my crease and I don't know if I can show you can you see like in this one that they look kind of used and it is pretty much like specks from the fluff on the palette but overall I like this palette I I think it's good. It feels like the most of Colourpop's monochromatic palette. I don't know how this is comparison to... It's my pleasure. Because purple shades can be a little bit harder to work with. I like this, so yeah. Nothing to complain about. And as I said, I think it's going to be kind of much first impressions now for a while and it's also going to be like me with longer hair me with this shorter hair and so on because I have some pre-recorded videos and this is the first video I'm doing with my short hair and I'm going to try to have this up it's Tuesday today on Thursday I think I will make it so yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!